All right, just wanted to show what kind of power we're getting out of here. Got kind of gusty winds right now, and oh, I would imagine it's probably blowing about 12 miles an hour right now. And you can, as you can see, the meters uh, almost up to. Oop, he hit it a little bit higher there. Now we got 30, 35, 36. Okay, the wind's blowing a little harder now. As you can see, the uh, the wind turbine is really moving now, and uh, you can't see the blades anymore. Not necessarily loud either. Now we've got 44 volts. This is a 36 volt Amtec that I'm doing this with. 40. Well, we hit 46 there for a sec. This uh, this is just free spooling. Wind's not particularly blowing that hard either. I would say the wind would have to be blowing maybe about 18 to 20 miles an hour at the top of the hill. Uh, that's just a guess though. It's really not that strong of a wind up there. My tail feathers is about ready to fall off. There now she's really going. Um, now let me put a load on the battery and oh well, look at that. 51. 40, 46, 47. As you can see, this is a 36 volt Amtec motor, and we've uh, far surpassed the voltage this thing's supposed to put out. Uh, wind is gusting up a little bit now. You can feel it down here a little bit. So I'll go ahead and hook this to the battery. As you can see, there's a uh, some pretty good current. That slowed her down quite a bit. Like I said, the wind is really not blowing that hard. May or, not be able, may or may not be able to see it, but the grass is moving a little up there. We've got it on the battery still. And, uh, oh, gauge, let me see, there we go. That's about what my batteries are at, 12.4. So let me disconnect it again from the battery. And all right, so as you can see, it's picking up speed real fast. Um, evidence to these high speed blades up to 40. I don't know if you can see that or not, but well, probably can't. Those blades are moving so fast, I can't see them. The digital camera might might freeze frame them. Might make them look. Uh, probably not going as fast as they are, but there, yeah, there's 36 volts. You know, this motor is uh, rated for around 900 RPM at 36 volts, so we're at least getting 900 or, well, we're getting well over 1,000 RPM, and the wind is not quite blowing 20 miles an hour. So, that's pretty good. Now, she's really going there. Look at there, we got, now we had 51 volts there for a sec. Anyways, this concludes the test of the four foot long twin bladed prop that um, I have for sale on eBay. This is uh, conclusive proof that these things are very high speed. That thing is really moving up there. It is flat cooking. Almost ready to break the sound barrier. I can hear it. I've, I've heard it do that before. And I'll remind you again, these are not quite 20 mile an hour winds. Maybe in the 18, maybe gusting up to 20 miles an hour. And uh, probably in about 23, 24 miles per hour wind, you can hear these things break the sound barrier quite easily. It sounds like an airplane taking off in my backyard. But there you have it, 42 volts, so 900 RPM Amtec. That would mean, uh, and it creates 36 volts at 900 RPM, so if you do your math, that's well over 1,000 RPM. Um, and I'm guessing it's going to take about close to 2,000 RPM to probably break the sound barrier. But it doesn't take that much more wind to really make it do that. Wind speed, a few miles per hour in wind speed greatly increases the... Uh, speed at which it's at, uh, these spin. Alright, 